And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. Postseason baseball, Singy. It's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, the big righty, Max Scherzer. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and in the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Why to kick the pitch? And first offering is fouled off. So here's Scherzer. Nope. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early, it sets the tone for the rest of the game. Scherzer deals. And that one upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Yeah. On the corner for a strike. And it's three and two. We got a full count. That one the other way. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers. Oh. And now it's even up. One and one. Runner at first with no outs here. The oh. next offering misses. And it's two and one. Side. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Kicks and fires. And now it's filled up. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Nobody out. Runner at first. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled and... This is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, 
It's a nice job right there. Here's Alex Bregman. Ball one, no strikes. Count one and oh. Scherzer to first. And he's back in standing. Pitch. Altuve runs and a foul ball. And he deals. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Catch up to the heater. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Scherzer to first. Altuve gets back easily. First offering misses the mark. Check on the runner. Altuve back in standing. And the right hander deals. Misses off the play. Now 2 and 0. Oh. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Scherzer with a move to first. And he's back in there. Scherzer gets the punch out. Third out. One left for Houston. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. This is the National League Division Series on the show. here at the ballpark getting the nod in this one Christian Javier well the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball it's more of a knuckle curve and because of that it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter that makes it that much harder to hit this guy we go to the bottom of the first here's the veteran second baseman Marcus Simeon second baseman Marcus Simeon The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. The 1 0. Ball. 2 0. offering popped in the air right field no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down Seeger stands in now he's got the power but great contact skills one of the best contact hitters in the game nope. and the first ball. pitch misses for ball one Javier he has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. 
You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. The 1-1. One, one. That one drifts inside. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Next offering is fouled back. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Two outs, space is empty. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. That's in for a strike. The 0-1. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. That ends the inning. We head to the second in Arlington. No score. Welcome back. Digging in. Jose Abreu. The first baseman. With Max, you're always thinking about the strikeout. Chris, he's one of three guys along with Clemens and Randy Johnson to strike out 20 in a game. Yeah, and with his delivery and release points, sometimes it seems like that fastball is rising, has a little upshoot to it, real deception for the hitter, along with pretty good velocity. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Started after the 1 2 pitch, appealed to first, and he held back according to Rusty Valentine. Right hander kicks deals. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Here's Kyle Tucker. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is foul back. Here's the 0-2. And that one is inside ball one. And misses inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next one misses, and the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Scherzer gets the punch out, and one gone. Really tight bite on that slider, and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Take it off. Let's get two. 
First offering. Runner goes. On the ground right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Runners on the corners with one gone. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Fouled off down the right side. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Oh, and one now. Foul ball. Two on, one out. Good eye right there. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Two on, two outs. Late with the swing there. One ball, one break. Runners on first and third, two away. On the corner for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Tosses the first. That ends the frame. Two left for the Astros. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. There's the strike up high. Going one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Kicks and deals. Going to count one, one and two. Two strikes. And there's a ball. Two-two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field. Pretty well struck. Caught just shy of the wall. The designated hitter. Jonah. Jonah Heim, the next to hit. First offering and it just misses. Count one and oh. High fly ball down the left field line. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. Safely into second. He's got a double. Second with one away. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Mitch Garver. They say he went.
the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. And one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. The hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Runner at second here. One gone. And now the count is even. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And takes low for ball one. Next offering is foul back. two now squirts away a little bit well done behind the dish two outs and one in scoring position next offering upstairs Josh Young in the on deck circle for Texas And it's second. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Here's Josh Young. In there, and it's 0 1. Catches the corner for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a pitch. In the dirt. Blocked. Over to Abreu. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. Rangers leave a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Now at the plate, Jose Altuve. The pitch. Altuve starting up the middle at second, a member of the 2000 hit club, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Next offering way off the plate. That's down and in. And now two and two. In the air, left side. Carter drifts towards it, makes the grab one down. The battle, the designated hitter. Michael, Michael Brantley stands Brantley. in. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Top of the third, no score. Let's go, Next pitch misses, 
And that's ball two. And that one is inside. There's a strike, three and one. And a swing and a miss there. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Up next to the Astros. Runner on at first with one gone. Down the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Bregman, in his seventh season, 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Brantley goes out front and foul to the left side. Here comes the 1. Out there to center. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. The left fielder, number 24, Jordan Alvarez. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. His first at bat was a strikeout. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Two now and downstairs. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Just so sound in his oh, mechanics. Yeah. Hits against a firm front Number side three. and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So two on with two away. Jose Abreu up to hit. Reached on an infield single his first time. And that's outside. Ball one. Here comes a pitch. In there at the knees. And it's one and one. Out to short, Seeger. To first, third out, and that ends the frame. Two left for the Astros, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. Here's Leody Tavares. The center fielder, Leody Tavares. Javier back to work. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. Tavares hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next offering is in for a strike. Tavares checks his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. 1-2 now. Battling here as he fouls it away. And it's even up. Wind in the pitch. 
And that just misses. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Left field. Alvarez in position. And it's caught for the out. Up next to the Rangers. The second Here is Marcus Simeon. Oh, for one, he flat out to right Simeon. his first trip. Lifted in the air, out to left. Alvarez in position. Two away down. The batter, number five. So now it's Corey Seager. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a good eye there. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. And another ball. Good eye right there. Two down, nobody on. Right side. And it gets by him. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Grounded out his first time up. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. At the belt and fires. There's the strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Rangers leave one. Still no score. Start of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next offering is foul back. Max Scherzer, a former first-round pick. Diamondbacks took him in 2006, the 11th overall selection out of the University of Missouri. What a career. He's won three Cy Youngs, including Cy Youngs in each league and a world champion 2019 with the Washington Nationals. Next pitch misses inside. Now one and two. Well, just, I mean, a tremendous pitcher started with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Then we saw him move to Detroit. Wasn't quite sure if the command and control was going to be established. Even the release uh, that he throws in mechanically, people wondered if he'd get injured. But he has had a lengthy career for the most part, has stayed healthy, and he's going to the Hall of Fame. No question. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. Misses outside, and that's ball one. On, that one in there across the letters. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. It's like he's doing a nice job of it. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. In the air, foul off first. 
And there's two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Pena takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, and he hit him. Well, you can see this happen from time to time when a pitcher is trying to throw that slider, especially front door to a same side hitter. You know, some of them are going to get away from you. It's not the easiest pitch to control because you're trying to aim it a little bit. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next oh. offering is downstairs. And the righty deals. In there. And so now one and two. And here it comes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Check swing, appeal to first, and he won around. Just enough that time. First and second, two down. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Safe at third, moves up on the pass ball. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Bounced out to short. On to Simeon. And that is that. So they strand a pair. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. here at the ballpark John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you and leading off the bottom of the fourth Adolis Garcia the right hander back to work that one misses and that is ball one And that's Whoa, outside. The wind of the pitch. Slider clips the corner. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And a 2-1 on the way. And there's a foul ball. The 2 2 on the way. Ripped in the right field, base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And 
And the batter now, Jonah Heim, doubled his first time up. That one misses. One and oh. And the pitch. And that is in for a strike. And the count is one and two. Pickoff move to first. Garcia back easily. The one two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Chase his swing, now an appeal to third. No swing, just held it back there. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one out now. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Struck out swinging his first time. That misses. And yeah, that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. And a swing and a miss. One and one. Next offering is in for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Next offering upstairs. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. In the dirt. Blocked by the catcher. And he steals second base without a throw. The pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Young. He's over one. Fly ball to right. Tucker should have it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Rangers leave a pair, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back. Michael Brantley to start things off. Here you go for the outfield. The designated hitter, Michael Brantley. 
Here the right hander back to work. And that's in for a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Dane Dunning, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Spores getting loose as well. Right, Left-hand hitter waits. Brantley tries to check his swing. Now to look to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Kenny Jansen. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three-pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. And now it's Alex Bregman. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. Pitch misses there. And it's a ball to strike. Come on, Rangers. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. And see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next one just misses. Three and two now. And that's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Chris, it's pretty amazing to think that Jordan Alvarez could actually be a Dodger. The Dodgers originally signed him in 2016, and a little over a year later, the Astros acquired him for Josh Fields. Pretty good deal for Houston. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Tavares settles under it. Drops into the glove. Two down. So next up for Houston, Jose Abreu. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. Hit in the air, right field. Garcia makes the catch. And that will end the inning. So the Astros lead one. Halfway through this one, still no score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here is Leody Tavares. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. The 1-1. One -one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Hit weakly on the ground. Pena on the run. Throw to first. Just got him on that one. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Now it's Marcus Simeon. There's a strike.
And now the 01. Upstairs. One ball, one strike. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. And that skips into dirt. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Man at first with one gone. Now it's Corey Seager. In the air, left field. Alvarez in position. Makes the catch. And there's two away. Now batting, left fielder, Evan Carter. Here's a speed threat, Evan Carter. Now move to first. Oh, Simeon back great. in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Slap the other way, foul. Now a pop up on the infield. Pena settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing across, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. We're through five, and we still have no score. All set for the top of the sixth, and stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. The pitch. Tucker in his fourth year, 26 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Left hand batter waits. One ball, two strikes. That one down the line and foul ball. Scherzer ahead one and two. Next offering is outside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach. Just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game. I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now, Mauricio Dubon. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One down, base is empty. Two balls, no strikes to count. Now 
That one missed. That's in there. And it's three and one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And the Rangers manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Max Scherzer is done and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Pitching change here. Dane Dunning. Number 33. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. And first offering is fouled off. Pickoff throw, and he dives back in safely. And the right-hander deals. Runner on the goal. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. The pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Gets a piece and stays alive. And just misses with that one. Next offering is down low. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. The 2-2. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. Martin Maldonado waiting to hit for Houston. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Stays alive. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. Now back, Pepper, Martin, Maldonado. And now here is Martin Maldonado. to the zone for a strike. 0-1. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Aroldis Chapman, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. Haney warming up as well. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So a job well done from the Rangers' bullpen that time. To the bottom of the six we go, 4-5-6 coming up. And we still have no score. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning, stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. Garcia goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and he was born yeah. in Cuba. And that is in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's in the dirt. Two two now. Out off the plate, they'll do it again. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, let's say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at-bat going. High in the box again. Takes a strike. Strike two. No ball, two strike. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Up next for the Rangers, Mitch Garver. Garver. That one's in there on one. The wind of the pitch. And that one missing low. And now it's even up. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Dives and he can't hang on. See, fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. out of the dugout now and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros bullpen Christian Javier won't go any further and as he heads off we'll step aside for a minute back with the new pitcher after this break Astros go to the pen and here comes Ronel Blanco number 56 Ronel Blanco Next up for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. Come on, Rangers. Let's go, Texas. Now fly ball to right center. Tucker should have it. He makes the grab. That is the inning. Top of inning number seven. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Seeger. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep him from getting away. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Now Michael Brantley steps in. And that's in there for strike one. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game, and this is something we see more and more in the game today, especially in the postseason. Right, right. 
Altuve runs. Swing and a grounder foul first base side. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. First and second, no outs. Here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Popped up first base side. And the infield fly is called. Now back, left here, Jordan. Alvarez. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. They say you win. That one in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Working down in the zone to start the at bat. Looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. At the belt and fires. And a ball oh, evens the count. The next offering misses. And now three and two. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Got him looking for the K. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. And here is Jose Abreu. Here's a swing and a drive. This one headed down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone out of here. He'll touch them all. And they tack on three. It's 3-0. Three No doubt in my mind, just about everybody in this ballpark holding their breath on that one. I tell you, just barely snuck it inside the foul pole. And talk about a huge swing. That's it in this ballgame. Could be the biggest swing in this ballgame. We'll see. Andrew Heaney gets the call from the pen. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Yeah, the batter now, Kyle Tucker. In there for strike one. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. And the 0-2. Oh, 
Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. And a one two again. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And Tucker is retired. And that ends the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three run homer. It's now three nothing. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Back here at the ballpark, down the third baseman, Josh Young. And the pitch. Ball one. one there. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And there's a the ball. There's a strike and a count two and one. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Here's a strike. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the righty deals. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two-strike pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3-2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. Popped up. Altuve under it. One away. Now that is the second baseman Marcus so the batting order turns over and now Marcus Simeon now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game ball one no strikes Good eye right there. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Righty to the plate. Dribbled up the third baseline. And it goes just foul. 2-2 two, two now. Simeon waits. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Three two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Ah. 
First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Pitch misses there, and it's a ball to strike. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Right-hander kicks deals, and that's downstairs and outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And that one wrapped foul. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Runners at first and second with one gone. That's inside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The tying run at the plate. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, and he just misses. Yeah, that's outside two walks in the inning already and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them and it is two and one two outs a couple of base runners at first and second now there's a bullet down the line and it's caught and that will end the inning. Rangers leave a pair. They trail in this one, 3 0. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth at the play. Mauricio Dubon. And here it comes. Check swing, and that's a ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Aroldis Chapman, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. The wide to kick the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Slider clips the zone. And a pitch. That one fouled off two and two. The wind of the pitch. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. And first offering is fouled off. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out. 
number two. Two outs, space is empty. So next up for Houston, Martin Maldonado. First offering misses the mark. That clips the corner. The 1 1. And that's down it away. Now a screamer into the outfield. Tavares makes the grab. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Astros three and the Rangers nothing. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot. Hector Neris. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Astros. Number 50, Hector Neres. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. The Rangers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Next pitch is inside. Now one and two. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Presley, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. The one, two. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Heim stands in now and watches strike one. Hard hit, right side. Fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Garver. Now the catcher up to hit. Mitch Garver. First pitch just misses. A little bit low. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Next oh, one misses, three. and it's 3-0. and oh. There's the strike. And there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We're through eight full here in game four. It's the Astros three and the Rangers nothing. 
at the bullpen is Will Smith. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Back to the top of the lineup and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. And he deals. And ball one. Smith, in his 10th season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One and two now. Altuve waits. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Missed inside with the curb. Two two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And it's filled up. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's Michael Brantley. First offering, and it just misses. And a foul ball. And now the lefty swings and misses. And a count one and two. But I really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. That's outside. The count now two and two. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Next offering misses, and a full count now. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. 3-2 now. And he walked him. Nope. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. So, man aboard. Now it's Alex Bregman. Just missed. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a one one. They say you win. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Alvarez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Way outside, and it's 2-0. Oh. 
to account you really don't want to give in here you've got to work the edges really execute a pitch hopefully you can get back into this count two outs he swings and fouls one off the two on and that one hammered Garcia going back on this one and that ball is out of here he leaves the yard to right and they add on it's five zip A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And next to hit for Houston, Jose Abreu. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. There's a strike. pitch and that clips the inside corner and a swing and a miss and that's that two run shot for the Astros this inning and the lead is now back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth Ryan Stanek and you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Josh Young now at the plate. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. All right, Rangers. The next pitch misses. Two and oh. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Urquidy up and throwing. Hey. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Tavares in the box now. No balls and a strike. No need to offer at that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Right-handed reliever. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Ball to strike. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Tried to check his swing there. Appeal to third. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. So the Rangers batting order turns over. And now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter. Marcus Simeon. Simeon.
And takes low for ball one. Kicks and fires. And that's in for a strike. Hit hard. That gets through. The batter, number five. Good job. Runner first Corey. with two away. Corey Seager getting ready to hit. That one's in there on one. The pitch. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Next pitch one way ball. upstairs. Just one strike away. Bows it off, still one and two. Is just one strike away. Fights that one away, still one and two. Down to their final strike. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Jose Urquidy on the pitch out of the pen here. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Jose Urquidy. So next to hit for Texas, Evan Carter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. This one in the dirt. And that is the ball game. Thank <laughs> you. 